Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. In this video, I'm going to explain to you three important Java interview questions. How an object is serialized in Java? The first question is how an object is serialized in Java? In Java, to convert an object into byte stream by serialization, an interface with a name serializable is implemented by the class. All objects of a class implementing serializable interface get serialized and their state is saved in a byte stream. Why do we need a serialization? Serialization is nothing but, for example, you have an employee class and it uh, he ha the in inside the employee class we have inside the employee class we have uh, name and department. So, for example, name is name is John and the department is bank for example so when I save this object in a fly file you are storing the state of that object okay so that's why the first line it says to convert an object or I can say state of an object into byte stream that's where serialization comes into picture so you can send uh, an object in s through a wire whenever you do a socket programming you can send an object exactly to the to the different appli different server, different mission, different computer. That's where serialization comes into picture. Okay. When we should use serialization? Very important Java interpretation. Serialization is used when data needs to be transmitted over the network. So that means from US somebody is calling a method or a or a or a service that is provided in India. The machine server is running in Mumbai for example um, and from US they are doing some uh, transaction. So the call is made to, uh, to, to, the, to the India server so that's where the call the, the serialization object comes through the wire. So there is a software socket programming involved in that. Okay, Using serialization the object's state is saved and converted into byte stream. The byte stream is transferred over the network and, and the object is recreated at destination. Is it compul compulsory? The last question. Is it compulsory for a try block to be followed by a catch block in, a, in Java for exception handling? Very important Java interview question. Try block needs to be followed by either catch block or finally finally block or both. Any exception thrown from try block needs to be either caught in the catch block or else any specific task to be performed before code abortion are put in the final block. You know you know you know right finally blocks always executed in, in case of try or catch. If there is any exception also the finally block will be executed. Even if you are returning some some value, the finally block will be executed. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. There are a lot of videos from interview.com. Thank you and all the best.